Hey guys, this is June because I was born in June and in this system.io tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can connect the courses that you have created in system.io together with a landing page. So what it means that is that right now, my goal is that I want to, uh, I want to offer my courses for free in system.io, right? So I want anyone who go to my landing page, as long as they give me their name and emails, System.io will automatically send them a login credential so that they are able to access the courses for free. All right. So that's why in this video, I'm going to show you how you're able to connect both together. So if you have not created the courses, I'm not going to go in deep, but what you need to do is that you need to go to log into system.io, go to courses, all right, and then follow my other uh, system.io tutorial on creating a course for that, all right? As long as you follow that tutorial uh, in detail, you'll be able to create a course successfully as of now. So now, very simple, what you need to do right now is to build the landing page, right? So in order to build a landing page, you just need to go to funnels in system.io, all right? Just cr uh, create, okay? Because I am going to offer my course for free, so I'm not going to sell it, but rather I just want to use it to collect the email list, right? So I'm just going to pick build an audience. All right, so this is I'm just going to put like free course, All right? So once you once you have done that, you can uh, select the uh, currency that you want and click on create. So once you create, there are a lot of templates that you can use. So basically, there are two steps. So the first step, I just want to collect um, the email addresses. Okay, so let us pick uh just simply pick something that shows that I can collect email addresses. So so just pick this one, which is simple and nice. All right. So building landing page is super easy. Um, so this is called lead right next, let's see. You can just name name this path in system.io to whatever that you want. So this is lead right next, example. So once you have done that, hit on save, and now we can start designing, all right? So when you're designing system.io is really drag and drop, and usually I will uh, just change the headline. If let's say you do not want this headline, you can always drag, all right? The detail, you um, I'm not going to go into detail, but you should know what to do right now. So usually um, we will actually have a video here. So let me drag a video here, all right? So um, in this video, I'll probably recording said, uh, welcome them to this free course because I'm going to offer this course for free. And then fill out this form to access the course now. I'll probably write access the course for free now. Okay. Um, you may want to collect the first name, last name, and email. If let's say you do not want to collect the last name, all you need to do is you can just delete this, okay? So it's pretty simple. But right now, I'm just going to leave it on. Okay. So now, submit button, as usual, when you click this submit button, you can, one, you, when this, button is being clicked, you want them to send the form, which means it will actually collect the lead for you, right? And also, uh, let us check. And you want to direct them to the next step. So the next step, which means after they actually click submission, what kind of page they will see in system.io. And usually I will actually have a thank you page and tell them what to do next, right? So let us just maintain this is pretty simple just to show you guys what to do, right? So now I'm going to hit save. So you have designed the landing page, right? So the next thing that you guys want to design is actually a thank you page. So it's the same step and process. So I'm just going to show you guys a very simple one. I'm just going to select this template in system.io. So once I select this, same thing that we are going to repeat, you want to give it the path and name. So I'm just going to hit thank you. So hit on save. All right now you can design. Okay. So when you're actually designing it, um, Usually what I will do is that I will tell people what's the next step. So this is what, where I will go to next step. All right. And then um, I will ask them to check out your, okay. I have, I've just sent you your login credential. Just email you your login credentials. Uh, do remember to check your junk and spam right in your inbox okay so you will be probably shooting a video so if let's say you have shooted a video just hover over to this video all right and then um you should see this video element orange color and then you should be able to change sorry it should be blue color all right and then you should be able to change the link of this youtube or whichever that you're hosted in okay so um you can just Add in anything or delete anything that you like, okay? So, and hit on save changes. So, let us exit. 
All right, so right now I have two page. Uh, I forgot to change this one. So let me put thank you to and remember to hit save. So I have two pages. The first page is where people jump on my landing page. They know that, uh, oh, June has a free course on how to use system.io to create landing page and membership. So they jump on it. They give me their email, right? So after they give me their email, I do not want to manually send email to them say that hey you know what this is your locking credentials we want to have automation so right now i want you to go to the step one of this lead magnet go to this automation rule so now we are going to add rule in system.io so when you hit on add the rule uh you're able to either pitch visited or funnels that form subscribe because we will only send the login credentials we need their emails and names uh so that's why we are going to pick here when they submit the form so you're already at the triggered in the system.io. Now we are going to add action, right? Once they submitted the form, what is going to do next? So we are going to add actions. There are a lot of different actions in system.io. So there are probably a few things that you want to add. So for me, it's very simple. I just want to enroll them into the course, okay? And you can also add additional actions. So let us try adding uh, enroll them into the course. Right, you can then pick the courses that you want to enroll them into. Because in the earlier tutorial for system.io, I've shown you guys how to create a course so easily. So you guys can check my other tutorial in this playlist. So uh, click on this course that you want to add them in and then give them the full access. So the drip content, usually I don't use it. It just means like um, when they watch uh, day one, they have to watch certain videos without completing the certain videos, they can't uh, go to the day two. So, but then as a beginner, don't worry about drip content, just give them the full access. So once you've done that, you just can click on save rule. Right, once you've done that, which means you have now connected the courses and the landing page. As soon as someone go to your landing page, give you give you their email and name, the system will automatically subscribe them to uh, enroll them into the course. So what happens next is that whenever this person gives the name and email, uh, system.io automatically send them the login credentials. All right, so let me just show you guys. So let's say right now I'm going to go to my, let's check my funnel. Uh, very easy. You go to this uh, system.io link, right, right? Go to the page. So once go to the page, you can actually just key in a uh, name and key in my email, all right? So once you've done submit, because you've done the automation, right? So by right, my email will receive a login link, the membership link. So let us check my email then. So now I'm at my email. Can you guys see that? I received an email. Uh, with a login credential. So they actually, if let's say you don't have a password, please click on the forget a password. They just need to click here. All right. And then because I already logged in, so that, that's why you guys can't see it. So let me just log out. All right. If you do not have an account in system.io by right, they will actually give you the login uh, credential, including password. But because I already have an account, so what, what system.io asked me to do is just to click on to log in. And because I forgot it, you can just click on the forgot password. Okay. So please log in, all right? Click on forgot password and system.io will send you the password. But I go through this route is because I have already have an existing system.io account. So if let's say someone is pretty new in system.io, the system.io will give them the password as well, okay? So this is as easy as ABC, right? I hope you guys loving this system.io tutorial that I recorded for you guys. And if let's say you love it, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as subscribe to my playlist in the YouTube channel to find out more. Also, I will see you guys in the next time training then. Take care. Bye.